Hey folks, in this video we're taking a look at VM Fusion versus Parallels and different ways that you could get Windows on your MacBook, which basically means how can you get Windows programs or even Windows 11 at this point working on your MacBook. And this is tailored towards Apple Silicon. I have an M3 Max 18 core GPU, so we'll also be taking a little bit of a look at how some of the gaming performance does between the devices. So with that being said, let's go into the tutorial. Once you download both of these, you'll have options to have your uh, VM Fusion where you have a license. This is 100% free, so as long as you just register your account, you'll be able to download Windows from the v VM Fusion where uh, installation. On the other end, if you take a look at Parallels, you'll download Parallels and install it on your VM Fusion. <laughs> no, sorry. You'll install Parallels on your Mac OS, getting tongue-tied. But I think from my perspective, the the installation process of Windows 11 is way more streamlined in Parallels. You'll see later in this video as if you just download it, they both downloaded for some reason VM Fusion had to download twice, it seemed like. Um, but yeah, I was able to, if we skip ahead, get Parallels running faster or getting Windows up faster than VM Fusion. You can take a look here. You'll see that on the left is VM Fusion. On the right, we're already installing and activating Windows 11. One thing to note as well is that it seems that Parallels has a different way it installs Windows 11. I'm not exactly sure, um, but essentially you go through all the VM Fusion, you set up your um, your disk, where, whereas with parallels it it kind of just skipped right to hey set up your windows machine um, and you'll see that later in this video as i narrate through so the one on the right is already parallels is installed and ready to go whereas this one um the one on the left that's on the foreground vm fusion needed a lot of time so right now the parallels install i skipped ahead but basically the parallels installation was done and ready to go and then all i had to do was like hit agree and and finish the setup once you hit agree and everything, you're basically ready to go. It it, go, it goes ahead and installs Parallels tools, which lets you command and paste and do all that jazz. Meanwhile, with VM Fusion, once it installed or booted up Windows, you still have to install Windows and choose where it installs. So um, from here, I'm showcasing that in Parallels, the, the state I'm trying to get these um, virtual Windows 11s to is installing Steam and then installing Cyberpunk. Um, at the time of this recording, I didn't actually realize that neither of these support dx12 so there was no reason to install cyberpunk and later in this video you'll see that they don't run and i tried to or i changed i pivot to running dota 2 uh, but essentially i went ahead and downloaded cyberpunk on both machines kind of wasting uh wasting hard drive and bandwidth so my parallels installs at a steady state now going back to vm fusion i'm sorry if this is confusing but for those who need to keep track you can look at the top left it tells you which one's running so top left says vm fusion um but essentially it has to then again install windows and what i showcase in parallels is basically said hit next and all of a sudden you're done here it's like it, i feel like it's a different version of windows being installed or somehow they bypassed all of this this like check for updates or whatnot it's like VM Fusion does the Windows ISO where Parallels does some kind of like modified ISO that skips all these steps, installs, uh, it must be like some kind of image disk or something that they've already set up because um, I had to set this up as a new PC, stuff of that nature, um, whereas Parallels it just was already set up and ready to go. So in the background, Parallels is running and by the time I've basically downloaded 15 gigabytes of Cyberpunk, VM Fusion finally installs or finally finishes installing and gets to a state where I could try to get Steam running and starting my download of Cyberpunk. One thing I also want to mention is VM Fusion uh, installed a ISO. It came from an ISO and it was a clean install of Windows, so it doesn't even install um, Fusion tools for you. Um, so maybe I'm complaining a little bit, but basically I liked how Parallels was boom, download Windows 11, whatever state it was, you're ready to go with Parallels installed. VM Fusion is an ISO from Windows or Microsoft. And then, you know, some people prefer that. Some people may be like, what, is, what did Parallels install for me? Um, but in this case, I had to install VM Fusion tools. And even when I got installed and I did a restart, I still couldn't command and paste. So there's like a little configuration that needs to be done to be a proper workhorse station. Um, here, I'm actually showcasing you, ha you have to restart. So once you do the VM uh, tools installation, you have to reboot your machine. And finally, like maybe after 30 minutes of configuration, I was able to get Steam downloaded and ready to install Cyberpunk. But then I ran into another issue, which is the default um, state 
of VM Fusion is an isolated hard drive, so I couldn't even install Cyberpunk. Um, even though it's not going to run because it doesn't run DX12, uh, before the time I didn't know that that was the case with VM Fusion and Parallels. But you need to, um, you basically need to expand your disk. So you have to turn it off again, expand it to um, longer, larger uh, hard drive, and then get that going. So some people may argue that this is stuff you should have known, but I say, you know, unless you watch this video or already did some prior research, you wouldn't have known. Um, and even when I was installing, I didn't see a, a way to say, hey, set the initial drive to larger than 64. I just went with the default. And some people, you know, they just go with whatever the 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 thing recommends. So um, Parallels is different in that it makes a continuously expanding disk based on your Mac drive, whereas VM Fusion, it makes an isolated, like, allocation of hard drive space so even then i had to i almost didn't get away with it i expanded it to 128 but all that it, that it did was make another 64 gigabyte hard drive partition but luckily it fit into uh, the cyberpunk install fit into um, that portion so as i alluded to earlier in this video cyberpunk is running on dx12 so it won't even run on uh, vm fusion or on parallels I didn't know that at the time, but I basically, after waiting around for like five minutes, noticed that it wasn't launching. So I searched the internet. I had to pull up, uh, if you haven't subscribed to this guy's channel yet, Andrew Tsai does a lot of Mac gaming content. Um, but basically, from his video, showcase that you can only run DX11 type content. So that being said, um, I wanted to run this without doing QuickTime recording. That would, might impact the uh, gaming performance. And I tested out Parallels because I thought, oh, maybe Parallels could also run DX12, but both VM Fusion and Parallels cannot run DX12 games. Now, it does launch and boot. It was running at like three frames per second, but then it eventually crashed. So uh, maybe Parallels and VM Fusion have it in their roadmap to uh, develop DX12 games, but so far none of them work. And so basically it was time to uninstall and install Dota 2. Let's go. My go-to gaming uh benchmark video game so i'm gonna cut to the chase and i actually just recorded um i cut out all the extraneous parts but basically you could see it's unplayable um even when it renders the cache shadings or anything it's doing on the back end you basically cannot play this game um through parallels this is running on parallels right now and it's on the gaming uh setting of the parallels um what do you even call parallel? I think it's called parallels, just parallels. Well, VM Fusion is called VM Fusion. Um, but yeah, super stuttery, unplayable, um, not a good gaming experience. <laughs> I don't even know why I pulled up the Sony camera to get a look at the screen. If you can make it out, it's basically like 30 to 40 frames per second, just straight hot garbage. So um, after being told that I had to move out of the living room, I relocated back to the office. So that's why they changed the scenery here. But even on VM Fusion, unfortunately, it runs worse, actually, on VM Fusion. 20 frames per second, unplayable. Um, so yeah, I would not recommend using... I, I would just do crossovers or whiskey if you guys are looking to play video games on the Mac. Folks, if you have any questions about installing Windows, uh, leave a comment below. Essentially, just download the programs. Whether you choose Parallels or VM Fusion is up to you. Parallels runs at $99 a year, whereas VM Fusion is 100% free. You just have to register your email and you'll get VM Fusion 13. Um, yes, VM Fusion takes a while to set up to get up and running, but it's 100% free. So, um, you know, it's not too difficult to install Windows and just install VM tools. That being said, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Um, the other reasons, of course, you would want to have VM Fusion or Parallels installed if you need, let's say, Microsoft Teams or Excel or PowerPoint or any productivity suite is different um, than the Mac OS version. Uh, that could be a reason why you want to install. Or, for example, if you use Visio, only Visio works on Windows machines. There is no Mac version of Visio. So let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Peace.